is a five minute major. This week I'm at Providence College with Matt Berglund. Matt, you're from Minnesota. You came to play college hockey halfway across the states. What has that been like? Uh, it's been a little bit of adjustment. I grew up, born and raised in Minnesota, so coming out east, um, I didn't really know what to expect. But it's been nice. Uh, you know, the people have uh, helped me adjust, uh, the school and coaching staffs and stuff. Um, but, you know, the environment's a little different. There's so everything's a little more compact, a little closer, which makes it nice to go places and, you know, like errands and stuff. So it's a little different, but I like it. Can you remember your first time getting on the ice? Uh, yes, I can. I was actually coming out here. We came out in the summer, so I just remember coming in, meeting all the guys, being a little nervous as you are freshman year. But, um, yeah, it, it seems like yesterday, three years went by quick now that I'm a senior, but um, it's something I'll never forget. Okay, and talk about this season so far. You guys had a huge crowd when you played B Boston University home. What has the support been like? Uh, the support's been excellent this year. Our school's done a great job getting fans to come to our game. Um, f opening up the season to a packed uh, arena was very nice. Um, you know, loud crowds kind of get behind you, give you some momentum, and we've had that at all of our games. So um, we've been fortunate in that perspective, and, you know, hopefully we can just keep uh, – battling and doing well in our game so the fans keep coming. You're one of the hockey schools who has a new head coach. This is your senior season. What has that adjustment been like? Um, you know, a uh, new coach coming in, just a new environment. Everyone uh, starts with a new page. You know, it's kind of refreshing. Um, just, uh, you know, he's been great. Uh, the guys are really excited and uh, we're kind of building off of his new energy and coming together as a team and hopefully we can be successful the rest of the year. Growing up, who was one of your favorites to watch in hockey? Uh, Joe Sackick of Colorado Avalanche. Um, I used to be a Flyer fan like Eric Lindros, but uh, Joe Sackick grew on me. I loved him. He's a great leader and competitor, and now that he's retired, uh, he's still, he'll still he always be my favorite, but uh, definitely Joe Sackick. Looking back at your previous three seasons, what would you say has been your favorite moment playing for Providence? Uh, probably going back home and playing in front of my family and stuff when we went to Duluth, and then uh, the Notre Dame trip was really fun when they hosted us there too. So, and it's always fun playing uh, the hockey schools and uh, those kind of those kind of teams. You know, you're always playing top top teams in the nation. So, what's special about playing in Providence? You're a little bit further away from the Boston schools. What's special about this place? You know, it's a small community, and you know, everyone knows everyone. You know, it makes for a great atmosphere and. Um, it's a tight knit, tight knit group of people here, so it's something special that we have here, and something that I that I really like. Play new to Belichick, left point. Danny New at the center point. Now to Berglund, top of the right circle to Danny New. New at the right point. Now to Berglund in the circle. Score! Matt Berglund with a wrist shot. 2:21 to go has tied it up. You're a management major. What made you choose that as your major? Both my parents are in the business field, and I just decided to come in freshman year as a management major, and I've enjoyed it, and um, I hope it'll work out for me after school. So, What's been your favorite class here so far? I kind of like the theater classes. Uh, they're a little different. You don't know, really know what to expect every day, whether it's acting, public speaking, or whatever it happens to be, improv, but it's different, and I kind of like it. So, What's the craziest thing that's happened in one of those classes? Uh -huh. Uh, just walking in and you're told you have to give a speech on something, an improv speech, and you just kind of have to go up there and, you know, just go with it. So it's, it's uh, not knowing, which kind of makes class fun every day. So Now, Team Superlatives, who would you say is the best dancer on the team? Probably Rob Maloney. He really knows how to drop it. So, um, yeah, I don't know if he learned it from me or what, but <laughs> probably my roommate, Rob Maloney. Best dress. Best dress, Danny knew for sure. Danny's always got the new clothes, the new uh, watches and stuff like that. So, Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you see the team going the rest of the season? You're off to a pretty good start. Mm -hmm. um, I hope we can continue our success and build off our first four games here. Uh, you know, uh, we obviously want to make the Hockey East playoffs and make a run for it, winning the Hockey East and hopefully making the NCAA tournament. And, you know, so uh, right now we're just building off of what we, our foundation that coaches set us, and uh, hopefully we'll make for a successful season. Now, do you have any interesting or fun facts that people wouldn't know about you already? Yeah, I actually have another sibling that plays in Hockey East for uh, Vermont. My sister plays for the Vermont Catamounts. What has that been like, uh, going to opposing schools and growing up playing with each other, I'm sure? 
Uh, you know, it's been a little different. You know, it's kind of awkward when I, I actually moved her, helped move her in. It was a little weird walking around her campus, but, you know, it's always fun. And she's my sister, so I always root for her, so.